So what you wanted to do is to get started with your very first portfolio into Wix. I'm going to be showing you how to get started totally for free. So let's jump right in and start building your digital portfolio with Wix totally for free. So getting started with Wix. First things first, head over to the Wix.com. If you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can all get started totally for free. It is totally free and it only takes a few minutes, guys. So once you're signed in, uh, and logged in, what you wanted to do is to start creating your portfolio website. Let's choose the right template after you choose the create new site and let's go for start from an actual template. Customizing your template. After selecting a template, it is time to customize it. Wix drag and drop editor makes it easy to personalize your site. You can change the colors, fonts, layouts and add your branding elements. Make sure your portfolio reflects your personal or professional brand. So by adding all of those elements directly into the now, the Wix Studio is going to be really easy just with the actual professional elements of drag and drop. So check out what we have so far in here. This is the actual template that we actually chose. This is how it should be looking so far. So I can explore this like this is like the desktop view. This is all the elements that appears in here. We're going to hit into layers. We have only this one section and then later on we can add more and more stuff. The most important part of your portfolio website is of course your work. So you wanted to add high quality images, um, files to your product. You can create galleries, like shows or even individual pages for each product. So let's go and get started with something new here into my page intro. In this case, I do have the home section. Here's the contact, here's the studio. Here are my projects, my product pages. Later on, I can get into published and it's going to be asking you to connect a custom domain. If you don't have a domain, you can be generated a Wix domain totally for free. But you want to make sure that you're okay with the actual recommendations that appears to the upper side, which in this case is the Wix header that appears for a actual free website. For example, here's my Wix Studio. Let's go for portfolio or just number one. For example, these four characters. Let's go for one, two, three, four. Now into published and let's go into view my site. So I can check out how it's going to be looking the website after you have edited so far. So as you can see, we have a few images, we have a few transactions here, transactions, we hit down to explore. Obviously, it's going to be taking me into my menu. I do have the link to here, the project, the studio, the contact. Really easy process, actually. It, it looks actually really good, really great. Here's appearing all our actual elements. Now, what I want to do is to edit a few stuff later on. I'm going to hit down to the X mark. If you go directly into the Wix Studio, for example, I can manage my actual side into this section. For example, here is my setup, my home version, connecting a custom domain, adding a product to a portfolio, creating a kit of resources for an actual client. We can get found at Google. There's the home section. Once again, there's a site application that you can add into your store. There's the analytics of how many people check out our actual website, the form submission, the unique visitors, creating the contact here. We can add more stuff about contact, communication. There's automation. There's even the marketing and CEO that can helping you to appear more into Google. Uh, email marketing, Facebook and Instagram app ads, of course, there's Google ads, there's the social media marketing, there are marketing integrations that you can add later on. For example, there's Facebook, there's YouTube, there's Instagram, and since we're going to be focusing into an actual portfolio, it's going to be really, really important to create and publish social content directly into your custom website. Lastly, we have the billing and payments just in case you wanted to add, for example, I don't know, maybe like a calendar, you wanted to add appointments scheduling and all of that even you can add more applications inside the wake studio that can help you to boost a little bit more your website for example there is the heat counter there is the social media icons there is a pdf viewer pro there is a blockify product feeds uh twism for example there is the wix blogs and much more elements so once you're happy with your site hit into publish to make it live with view uh, wix you can create a professional looking portfolio website and easy showcasing your work your work to the world and there you have it guys uh, if this tutorial helped you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tax Press for more web design guides. Have any tips or questions about creating a portfolio in Wex, you can share them into the comments below. 
thank you so much for watching and best of luck to your new portfolio website keep creating it stay tuned for more help tutorials see you soon guys